Lobby Tools, Florida's legislative intelligence company. Subscribe today to Florida's leading policy, budget, and campaign tracking service. Request a free trial today at LobbyTools.com. Serial killer Gary Bowles was the last person executed in Florida. It was August 2019, two and a half years ago. Public records uh, on executions. Now state lawmakers are moving to keep the name of pharmaceutical companies and the drugs they supply to the state from public records. And ensures the DOC will be able to obtain the drugs necessary to carry out their constitutional requirements. But the request was not without opposition. Drug manufacturers widely voiced their moral opposition to the use of their life-saving drugs for application of the death penalty. In addition to opposing the death penalty, pharmacist Michael McEwen said the drug being used to kill is better off left in hospitals. Continue to be at critical levels because they're being used by hospitalized patients, particularly patients on ventilators, State Senator Jeff Brandis argued the information should remain public. Is that we should be the most public uh, and the most open is when we're taking a human life. But the committee didn't agree. And if Florida resumes executions in the future, the next one will be the 100th since the state resumed executing people in 1979. Afterward, Broxson was unhappy the bill became about the death penalty and not the drug being used. This is an effective way to do what we statutorily have to do, and we want to make sure it's available for uh, the DOC to use in the future. And Tuesday began with 314 men and three women on Florida's death row. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Mike Vasilenda.